Hey, what's going on? Luke here. And yesterday I did a video playing as the Zealand Kiwis and I had a heartbreaking ending. Definitely go back and check that out. But it was a very fun game and New Zealand side and the Australian side for that matter. Very strange sides if you look at the actual lineup, New Zealand in particular. So I've already played with New Zealand as I've just mentioned. I'm going to be playing with Australia. I'm going to change this to Christchurch. Uh, I might change the field markings here, but essentially we're ready to go. We've got the exact lineups that they're going to be doing. Uh, I might even, you know, Anzac test, that'll do. Christchurch Stadium, Veteran Difficulty, 7 minute halves, exact lineups. Let's get the dub with the Kangaroos. So if for some reason you haven't seen the lineups or you didn't see my previous video, I suggest, again, go and check it out. It's a really good one. But the Australian side, a very strong side on Rugby Live 4 in terms of that sort of standard. But in terms of the actual, you know, the output that we actually got from this side, it was a little underwhelming in the first game. But the New Zealand side is something else, man. Something else. Well, I actually feel like I might struggle a little bit against them, just in terms of the halves. Like, you have Charles Nickel Clodstad, never played 5 8 in his life, and he's playing 5 8 for New Zealand. It's, it's pretty crazy. Sean Johnson out of retirement. The four pack's good. The bench is very, very good, actually, if you're being completely honest. The bench is pretty strong. So, in that aspect, I think it could be good, but on paper, Australia much better. As you've seen, though, on paper means absolutely nothing, and Jermaine Osako gets us going, so. Need a strong start. Uh, as I experienced with the Kiwi side, that's just look at that. Paddy Carrigan straight through Paddy Cags. But I need a strong start though. I can't let me chase the points. I don't want to leave it up to chance here. If I get out to 12 nil, bam, we're good. Uh, oh wow. Wow! Wow! Okay, this is all the things that haven't been coming off. Lindsay Collins outpacing everybody. Oh, I was like half a second away from getting the pass to Tommy Turbo. We're still going out, Tommy Turbo. Tommy Turbo's over. Bam. How easy is that? Is she a line break from a couple deflections? Lindsay Collins, all the pace in the world, does eventually get run down. But I said, we hit Tommy Turbo with score, and that's exactly what we did. Dude, delete the centers. Okay, like a surprisingly hard kick. I wasn't really expecting this. I'm glad I, I missed. So I missed. I was about to say, I'm glad I took it around a little bit. Should have took it around a lot more. So talking about a strong start, it all wanted to take a couple tackles. Second time Carrigan's gone through. Maybe not gone through, but at least he's beat the first defender. Let's hit the edge. Tommy Turbo. Oh, no. No. Why do I do that pass? I know it's not going to work, and I still throw it. All right, watch. They're about to hit back. They're about to hit back. 100%. Oh, good tackle. Good read. Tommy did it on Guinea. Forward. Let's go. No try for you, baby. Oh, no. All right, maybe the hammer. I was going to say, maybe the hammer could have done something. He just didn't even get involved. Let's try Carrigan. We haven't done anything apart from off the back fence. Look again. Every run, Carrigan is breaking the first tackle. How do we have the wind behind us all of a sudden? In a five minute, you know, game time, we've literally had the wind be so far against us. And now it's so far behind us. I don't, I don't understand. No. Over the sideline, surely. Zach Lomax. Over, let's go! Good tackle, Zaki. Makes up for the bad miss with the conversion. Let's hit hot hand, turbo. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, look, look at that. I told you, hot hand, turbo. Upload. Lomax, come on. How do we not score there? Getting run down, that's crazy. That's red hot. Let's go, Angus Crichton. Angus Crichton, again, we're just... We're just literally just bullying them at this point. I can, I can almost feel the people being like, when are you going to play a veteran? It's like... No, no, this doesn't happen all the time. I don't run through teams like this that often. Cags! Carrigan, actually tackled. Fourth tackle grabber. Boom! Oh, Tommy Dearden's over! Too easy. Too bloody easy. Tommy Dearden. He scored a nice try last week. He just scored a nice try here. You gotta you gotta do the grabber when they're not expecting it. Even against the computer. You still you still do the little cheeky little grabber. Sometimes it results in, you know, me conceding a length of field try, but it worked out well there. Alright, Carrigan. Third time to charm? No, he doesn't go through. Is it even like fourth time to charm? Harry Grant from Dummy Half. We got Birdo on the bench too. Oh, Kinney can't tackle him. Nice little step. We are going to Tom Trebojevic. Have I just... Oh, ultimate cheat code. This didn't really work out, but it kind of... I was going to say, kind of did. Didn't really though. Oh, Fisher Harris drops Carrigan. Okay, there's much, just must be a big difference in, you know, one prop to the next. All right, let's spread it. Hammer! Go Hammer! Hammer! I thought the hammer was going to score for sure. Actually, got a nice little tackle there. A nice little bit of cover up play. No, that's not an in. How's that an in goal? 
Oh, like, half centimeter off. If anyone's debating, like, why I'm smoking them with Australia, though, like, you look at the side Australia's got on paper, you have a guy like Phoenix Croslin, who is the second choice hooker for the Knights. He's the starter. Charles never played 5 8. Sean Johnson out of retirement. That's kind of what we're playing with. There's no Joey Manus, there's no Dallin, there's no... Like, a lot of the big boppers are out. A lot of the big names. They just kicked it into their own guy, right? No? Yes? No? I mean, it doesn't really change the result too much, but that's strange. Lindsay Collins had plenty of toe last time. Can't get through this time, though. I mean, I was I was literally actively avoiding Fisher Harris. But I think he might be off now. I think we might be safe. All right, let's go the hammer. Let's run through. Oh, I thought we literally can just run through the gap. I thought it'd be that easy. Oh, it's going for 40-20. Not only have I not hit the 40-20, but I've kicked it out in the full. Wow. Awful. Probably quite fortunate that this, you know, like the time frame in this game where it's just before half time. Good sacko. Paddy Carrigan. Oh, that's a nice run there, Tappany. Spare. Just do not concede. Do not concede, man. Okay, that's nice. All right, Johnson, thank you. Settler, your halfback taking a hit up. Random. All right, this is a challenge. This is definitely a challenge. Definitely a challenge. Oh, we get it. Thank you, Tom Trebojevic. All right, do not kick at the 94 rated guy. That's probably moral of the story. And Zach Lomax, same thing. Don't kick at him. Kick at the other wing. Oh, Tommy. Tommy. Good run. All right, Tom Trebojevic, so good. That's going to take us half time, though. Zero. Yeah, I was going to say zero chance. In the last minute, they can line break. You're not getting another chance there. I should have chipped and chased or something. But a 10-point lead at half time, I'll take that. That's pretty pretty convincing so far. Stats-wise, 4 from 6. They're 2 from 5. Their completion's been pretty awful. They're the one set in the line. We defend it pretty comfortably. Forward pass, all that sort of stuff. Joy Rich is super tired, though. Like, 45%. That's not great. Probably give him a little bit of a spell at some point. Do you have Matty Burton come on, though? And Matt Burton is much needed. And we'll chuck on Ruben Cotter in a lock. I think that should be all right. Let's start the second half, though. Zach Lomax, get the second half going. How crazy is his rise, though? I would have laughed at him being in the Australian side last year. I would have said... It would have been one of those... Oh, they're just picking on potential. To be fair, watch his career go to shit when he goes to the Eels. Kicking early. Kicking early, but they're kicking straight down the middle. Dylan Edwards, I don't mind if I do. Let's... Ah, oh, Dylan, nothing. Nothing there. Oh, Collins! Let's go! It's Fiddy Scroslin! Wow, another palm! What an animal! Bam! That's actually the pass I was going for. Didn't work out as well as I thought it would. Let's get on the wing. Xavier Coates. Xavier Coates! Oh! X, I thought X was over. Okay, let's get the Harry Grant in the middle. Let's just send this all the way across field. So this... Oh, wow, they've actually driven up. Who is it? Papa Lee, maybe? All right, Tommy Dearden. Let's not go the grubber route. Okay, this could actually work out. It looks pretty awful. Tommy can't get there. All right, good take, Asako. All right, Matt Burton's coming on second row. This is just the problem with having Matt Burton on the bench. Floor in the system. I don't know if he can play a lock or something, but realistically on this game, I don't care. This is the intercept. Intercept and a half, bam. See you later. See you later. See you later, Zach Lomax. Read that like a book, baby. You're going to cut that out every day, and Zach Lomax going to cash it every day. I think it was Fisher Harris. Just stick to barging it up. I'm like, come and again, look at the win. It's crazy again. Um, yeah, Fisher Harris, no cutoff passes from you. And computer, gotta do better. Oh, I thought that actually went over. I'm a little shocked up. We've missed two conversions. That doesn't happen very often. Lomax having a great, great time with the ball, but kicking not so much. But yeah, with those sort of passes, I've got to take them. I've got to take them. But right, I'm a little shocked you didn't get run down. I thought that was a great possibility. Send, oh, here we go. Matty Burton! Birdo! Big Birdo! Oh, he gets around Kinney. Man, if we had a little bit of support there, Birdo maybe links up with someone. Through the middle, caught up. That's a nice run too. I thought about playing possession and just... Yeah, I probably should have. I should have kicked it. Why are they running a play over the sideline? I don't understand that. Doesn't matter. Xavier Coates, bam, straight through Kinney. Beats another tackle. We're just too big, too strong. Oh, again, terrible kick, terrible kick. My kicking has been way off. I've literally kicked it over their ball line on the full. You know how hard it is to try and pinpoint a kick when you have zero idea what the win's going to be because it changes every bloody stop of play? Time to Boyevich. He is outstanding. However, super gas. What's his rating here? 18%. Might have to chuck Birdo in the centers, and that would have just killed it a little bit more. Is that? Oh, no, it's still the same. 
Did nothing, but uh, still the same. Oh, we spilled the ball sideways though. That is, that's been the moral of this game. Just, we've been so lucky. So, so lucky at different times. And look at that, Ruben Carter. Good run, he's super tired as well. I'm gonna try and hit Birdo with this gap. We're gonna, oh yeah, no, don't. Just don't even run Birdo. All right, Chico, Birdo in the second row, but kicking with him. How is the wind again? Like, so far back, but keep going. Keep bouncing, keep bouncing. 40-20, let's go! Let's go! I literally thought we just did like, play the century 40-20, into Birdo just stepping and throwing a pass. Oh my god, did not mean to do that. Hit it back, hit it back, hit it back. Oh my god, I give it away the ball straight away. 40 20. I'm trying to throw a cutout pass. And a high tackle. That's like the double whammy. Give away the ball unexpectedly. Just through the button kind of not registering. And then high tackle. That one definitely registered. Got plenty of subs left. I might chuck Birdo into the centers. Get Cotter off, Chavojevich off. You know what I mean? Just. Let's put the big boppers back on Isaiah. Yo, easy. This is easy stuff. Good tackle. Tom Joe Boy, this is last night for going off. A couple minutes left. Probably could have just left him on. No, this is why. This is why. Boom, Birdo. Yeah, Zachy Lomax. He's over. Another try, baby. Let's go. Is that a hat trick? Is that a hat trick for Zach Lomax? Intercepted. Got that one. Put the ball down. Could be. Let me just, let me just check real quick. It's only double. It's only double. I just have all these his misses for conversions in my head. That's why I thought. But 20 nil, hell of a performance. Oh, Mitchell Myers has done nothing. That's his first contribution in every game I've played for Australia. I can't lie. I'm kicking ball dead. 40-20's out in the full. Well, obviously not a 40-20. Then Hammer being pretty ineffective as well. Don't mean Jabouyevich, Burton, etc. Dylan Edwards, another one. We're up 20 nil, and a lot of these significant players haven't really done anything. I guess Moses has been dishing the ball out a fair bit. Let's um, let's not do that though. That's I know we're up 20 nil, but let's not do that. Let's hit the hammer, hammer, bomb, chip and chase. Why are they just stop and stare? Okay, this is probably going to be full time. I can't lie. At least at least one more chance. No, it's going to be full time. There we go. It's full time. It like starts at the start of the 79th minute. Doesn't get to play the ball. Rugby League Live 4 2 at T. But a 20 0 performance. Easy win. Great win, actually. One of the better wins I've had. Australia, the real deal in terms of Rugby League Live 4. We'll see how they, like, how it plays out in real life. I think, obviously, emotion and just all that sort of stuff should be quite good. But playing with the Kangaroos, I've already played with the Kiwis. Significant difference. The four pack, amazing. The back's really good for the for the Australian sides. Honestly, it should be such a good game though. I'm really keen for this one. Well, that's the end of this video. If you happen to enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. You know the drill at this point. Everybody YouTuber says it. Just go ahead and do it. It'd really help me out. Also, why not go ahead and check out some of these other videos that are on the screen right now.